anthropomorphized characters, or furry art as it's also called, um, has been around me ever since I was a kid and I didn't really notice it in storybooks and TV shows like Winnie the Pooh. And up until college, when a very disturbing friend decided to show me some disturbing stuff that I was not a fan of, I avoided a Like the Plague, which was a real shame because I've been watching a lot of drawfy episodes and I really like the one where they draw themselves as furry characters. And that's what's inspired me to make this video, turning myself into a furry for the very first time. And I'm going to be honest, this was a little more tricky than I had assumed, because what type of animal would be good for me to be? Um, so after doing a few quizzes that really didn't help at all, I tried breaking down my personality um, and just also asking some of my friends what would work best for me um, and I've kind of thought like I am an omnivore that's always important with animals I, I have the rage and fury but I'm also very cute and I'm also kind of a loner kind of every now and then so as you can see on screen I'm trying to portray myself as a badger but I'm just not feeling all that inspired with procreate today and I'm not sure why. I was very good for taking my notes but I'm just not having fun with it so we are going onward to my sketchbook. I recommend this if you're having trouble sketching digitally. Just go back to your sketchbook and just draw and draw until you feel like you are back in the zone and I found this is really good for me. So I just tried thinking of what I do on a daily basis and if this furry character is me, what would that furry character be doing? And obviously I drink a lot of tea and I wear a lot of dresses and I collect swords. So I tried putting my character into all these types of situations. And the design was a bit tricky at first. Um, I had to do a lot of research on badges. They're really freaking cute and interesting. I knew they were like fierce little buggers, but to find out that I actually have quite a lot in common with this creature. They are omnivores, like me, and they live underground and burrow in all sorts of tunnels, and it's just really freaking cute. And that would be really interesting if I actually was a badger in real life, considering I love to burrow in all of my blankets. There are various different types of badgers, from the traditional English badger to the honey badger, and I think I'm definitely more of an English badger. Uh, as I was talking to a few of my friends, and they have the long claws like many do, uh, but the English badgers are known for being very uh, fury, I guess is the best way to put it. They have the fury that can maim you with their claws, and I'm usually a very calm person, but I have been told that if I get pushed to the limit, then my fury comes out, but because I am a short person and I look very cute I it's not very intimidating or sometimes if I go quiet it gets very intimidating so it really depends and I feel like that would be a really good character uh, trait to have for this character um, because they're my characteristics I guess it's very weird putting yourself into a character if that makes any sense at all but so far with the sketches I'm really liking how she's turned out very cute and has given me a lot of ideas I can use to portray myself in this character. I'm hoping that I'm making sense with this, probably not. Let me know in the comments, does this make any sense whatsoever? Have you ever tried turning yourself into a furry character or an anthropomorphic character? I can understand why furry caught on because anthropomorphic is just a, a mouthful and I'm probably saying it wrong. <coughs> oh, dear, excuse me. Oh, my nose. Ow. So when watching the Drawry gang draw their characters, it made me want to think of different styles I could put my character in to really bring out the character. Does that make sense? Probably not. I'm very tired. I wanted to work in Procreate, but it just wasn't working for me today. I couldn't focus, so I moved on to Clip Studio Paint and scanned in my photos, not photos, sketches, and I discovered that um, badges have a very 
peanut shaped body. Uh, so when redoing my sketches and kind of going more in depth of how I can portray this character, I definitely liked using the peanut body to give me all sorts of different poses um, just to try and portray my personality. It's very weird looking at yourself and then trying to portray yourself through an animal. It definitely helped as I was trying to put the uh, badger girl in my own clothes. Uh, I have a lot of clothes, especially dresses, so I thought this would be quite nice to do, uh, especially with the peanut body. Now, I've noticed with the front of badger faces, uh, badgers have quite long faces, so it's very difficult to, uh, to get a face, a full-on uh, face, straightforward without it looking weird or smushed. But I think if I simplify the style a bit, I'll be able to work around that awkward uh, habit. And so that's what I really like when it comes to creating characters in general. You're progressing and you're sketching and you're finding a style that suits them. Uh, and yeah, so far, I think with the current sketches I'm doing now, uh, they work really well. I've been able to portray more expressions and detail into this uh, character. Uh, and that I feel described me very well, uh, as well as a bunch of random poses using the peanut method, as I am calling it now, the peanut method of my body shape. I don't think my body shape is a peanut, I'm not really sure. Actually, looking at myself now, yeah, I definitely have a peanut shaped body shape, so this works out even better for my cute badger girl design. I've actually come to notice that when people draw their furries or fursonas or whatever people call it. I believe it is fursona, so um, yeah, I should probably start using that word, that they use a lot of, um, the, I think it was dogs, birds, and I even was talking to this uh, with someone on TikTok, and they were saying how you can do mythical creatures, like unicorns and manticores, and I was like, what? Why didn't I think of that before I finished this? So I might make a magical girl version of my badger persona just so I can have like, I don't know, a unicorn badger or a badger with wings. That would be adorable. I need to write that down. I'm really enjoying this design as it goes, mainly because badgers are also one of my favorite animals. However, something I did find incredibly difficult was finding a color palette. Um, because I am a very bright blonde haired person and badges are mainly grey and uh, black in their markings so it was very difficult to find a way my blonde hair would work with that without it looking like some type of wig. Uh, it was very strange. <laughs> So I put hold on the colour scheme and just tried thinking of a way I could make the character more me in its appearance without going overboard. And putting it in my own clothes once again definitely helped, but also just adding little niches like my eye colour and like earrings uh, and even my hairstyle in general kind of looks like a wig in this style, so it kind of works. I've also discovered that a lot of my clothes are colourful, so that works well too. Have you ever had this um, like urge that when you've started drawing something, you can't stop drawing it? It's come to that now, where I've drawn like a little portrait and I know her basic design and I kind of just want to keep going and put her in more of my clothes uh, with all my books and my many cups of tea. And it's just been so much fun doing this. I feel really sad that I let one bad experience from a friend in college who I don't even speak to anymore um, uh, like make me not want to try this type of artwork. Uh, I really like it. It's very cute and uh, I'm not gonna like do any of the, the weird artwork that I ever saw because, you know, to each their own, but it's definitely just not for me. Uh, but stuff like this is just incredibly cute and I have so many ideas and sketches lined up now. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this cute little badger version of me uh, and maybe I can speed, do speed draw some illustrations on my channel as I've been having, I've got ideas and I've even got recorded ideas. I just don't know if they'll be any good or not and also I am terrible with audio. So, yeah.
um, it's always kind of hard knowing what to do, especially when I suck at audio. I should probably get a new microphone. This one is on its last legs and breaking. Um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to also try and give my badger girl, I guess, my fursona. I've got to keep calling her that my fursona. Uh, more emotion. Uh, so I tried focusing on that a lot with what I go through, such as art block. And lately I have had an absolute love of battle axes, mainly due to playing far too much Skyrim uh, with my Argonian. Let me know if you like to play Argonians in Skyrim, because I think they're pretty cool, despite the fact that swimming in Skyrim scares the crap out of me because of the slaughterfish, those little uh, anuses. It's annoying that you can't attack them while you're swimming. It's very annoying. But anyway, before I get off topic anymore, here are the final uh, designs. This is the front and back. Uh, I did a cute little like battle axe and tea book. And this is the character sheet I made showing off my character. <laughs>